Somalia's Supreme Court has refused to reinstate former spy chief Fahad Yassin as a duly elected legislator. The close confidant of President Mohamed Formajo took his case to the top court in the land after his victory was overturned by the federal election implementation team. The former director of the National Intelligence and Security Agency won a seat in the National Assembly on February 20th. He defeated Ahmed Mohammed Ahmed 70 votes to 25 in Beledwain. Earlier in the day of his contest, a suicide bomb killed 13 people nearby. The very next day, Yassin's win was rejected by the FEIT, which some reports indicated was done after complaints from elders. There is no indication from the electoral body when seat number HOP 086 will be rerun or if the former spy could contest it. The court decided that it doesn't have jurisdiction to overturn the FEIT decision, leaving the body in control of the seat's fate. Yassin would appear to be in a political no man's land at the moment, although he does still hold the title of national security advisor to the president. Formaggio appointed him to the post after he was fired from leading NISA by Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. Controversy over the disappearance of female agent Ikran Talil cast a dark cloud over Yassin's leadership of the agency. Roble and Formaggio have feuded over the issue for months, trying to gain advantage over each other by juggling security positions between their loyalists. Several other current or former members of NISA made their way into the new legislature. Yassin Fari, the current director of the spy agency, was chosen for seat HOP number 067 in late November last year. He won the seat in representing Galmadur in polls held in Dusamaret. Sixteen seats still need to be filled in the Gato region of Jubaland. A battle of wills between Farmajo and State President Ahmed Modobe has led to disagreements over where balloting can be held. Garbahari was the original choice, but deemed too dangerous. El Wek has been suggested as an alternative, but polling dates have not been set, despite most members of the new parliament taking their oaths of office already. ADN-TV will continue to report on election developments in Somalia.